If you guys would like any coins to open up any packs, whether that be in the World Cup or in your normal foot, then you can check out thefootshop.com. Use Calfreezy at checkout. You will get 5% off. I'll leave all the links down in the description so you can just go ahead and click on those and check it out for yourself. Anyways, guys, let's get on with this World Cup video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video on the World Cup FIFA Ultimate Team. Now you guys have seen plenty of videos leading up to this. I've done a few about them but I thought hey let's make a team from some of the players I got in the packs and uh, I opened about a million coins worth of packs and uh, I got Falcao, Iniesta, um, a bunch of players. Um, I didn't manage to get any of the big boys Ronaldo or Messi. I see they're quite common. I mean there are about a thousand players in the uh, World Cup database so um, you know, I guess your chances are a little bit higher than they would be on foot. But uh, yeah, I didn't manage to get any of the big boys. Regardless, this is my team right here. And we have got Ronaldinho, the Brazilian legend at camp. I just had to have him there. Anyways, um... I built this uh, South American squad, really, and uh, a lot of it's got quite a few Brazilians in there. Of course, you've got the Colombian duo up front as well, uh, Martinez and Falcao. And then, uh, yeah, I just thought I would uh, create that, see what I could do with it, and see if I could go all the way to the World Cup Final. So this is my road right here um, to the World Cup Final, and to see how well we get on. Would we be able to win it? I don't know. But I have to admit, the first game, for some reason, it said that... Um, so I did win the game, but at the end of the game, it disconnected. Like, it kicked me out of the EA servers and uh, I didn't it didn't go on my record that I won but according to the group table I did win and I got three points so I just decided to leave it out I won that game something like 5-0 or something like that the guy didn't have a very high chemistry side so it wasn't that great of a victory but uh, yeah so this is the game I went into and uh, you, one of the things you'll notice instantly about um, the World Cup is especially in the group stages a lot of people have uh, relatively weak teams now when I say that, I don't mean uh, weak as in, uh, you know, their players are bad. It's just for some reason people haven't grasped onto how the chemistry works in this. So pretty much, it, if you want me to make it as simple as possible, it's kind of just done by continents. I mean, that's not technically how it's done, but that is really how it is. You know, I got South America here. You can have a, a European team. You can have an African team. You know, it's done by the uh, governing bodies. Um, so, yeah, you got that. But essentially, it's just continents. And so I went with South America. And uh, I went, uh, there's definitely some really good players involved in this team but uh, yeah I end up winning this game 4-0 and like I said you guys will definitely notice that um, with what do you call it with um, when you're playing in the early group stages a lot of players um, they're not necessarily that great either you definitely notice when you get into the knockout stages players are much much better there so uh, you guys can have fun with that but in this and that particular pack I ended up getting my con as you can see I got six points because I won that last one in the game before that which I didn't show but again this guy has 50 chemistry but a lot of the times I can imagine it's just down to you know people just want to get straight into games with their um, starter packs which is completely cool with me more power to you and uh, you know just go ahead and do that but uh, I used some of the coins I had to open up packs I really wanted a pretty cool team see how this would all play out and uh, a mistake from his keeper he launches it out it goes straight to Xavi, uh, Xavi Martinez sorry uh, Jackson Martinez and he ends up scoring that so um, let, you, let me talk to you guys a little bit about some of the players I experienced in this team. First off, Falcao and Martinez as a striking pairing in this particular Ultimate Team game mode. It is just ridiculous. They are so, so good together. Falcao is amazing. Uh, really, he is honestly really, really good. I think he's very good on uh, the normal Ultimate Team as well. But in World Cup, he's so strong. It is just crazy. And uh, Jackson Martinez is always in the right place at the right time. And look at that. Uh, again, that's just a prime example. He was just sitting there, intercepts the pass, and then slots it past the keeper so for me Jackson Martinez is incredible here you go Falcao cutting inside bullies off a player there takes it on the inside unfortunately doesn't get it off the first time keeper makes a great save and uh, again Jackson Mar Martinez right place right time situation and uh, another high scoring game but uh, yeah so this team is really good Ronaldinho he's a lot of fun I wouldn't say he's the best cam that you can get not at all and at this point I think he was just frustrated he brings out his keeper what a fantastic chip from Danny Alves there and Danny Alves in this again is immense really good and you know to be able to finish like a right back to be able to chip a keeper from out there I mean it's not the hardest thing to do but at the same time it is you know still pretty impressive he gets a, a late goal back there and that is a really nice finish from him but unfortunately it was nothing more than a con consolation goal and that means I am out of the group stages hooray we move on Jackson Martinez picks up four goals he smashes the hat trick and picks up another one so uh, really happy with that um let me talk to you guys a, a bit about the other players um 
Julio Cesar, I'm not a big fan of. He makes some decent saves at times, but my god, he does some dumb shit, and you guys will see that um, as we get on a little bit here. He just does some really weird stuff. Anyways, um, into the round 16, and uh, this is the team we come up against. Again, chemistry-wise, not exactly there. It can be a little bit weird to make hybrids with this. Um, it's not exactly as clear and cut as um, you guys are probably used to on the normal Ultimate Team, but uh, yeah, Valencia, that's who I've got out there. He's got plenty of pace. It plays a beautiful ball through, and come on, guys. That is a really nice finish, especially on Neuer. Jackson Martinez just buries that past him and uh, that was just, I was so happy with that goal as well It was really early on the guy just we, we kind of hit him on the counter there and and it's all really down to Valencia but to, for uh, Jackson Martinez to beat Neuer at his near post was just very impressive anyways we go 2-0 up relatively early on Ronaldinho again from a corner uh, puts that out there and how about this Lavezzi winds that poppy up and fires that into the back of the net there is no stopping that what a strike Lavezzi for me was really good he's very good in and around the box I struggled to use him properly out on the wing. I'm not too sure why, but how about this from a response? He saw what Lavezzi could do and was like, I can do that too. And he exactly, he showed me exactly what was up. So, um, yeah, uh, that... That's just me being shit, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Yeah, that was just a real fail on my part. So, uh, it was 3-2, but I managed to hold out, and we end up winning 3-2. So, we're really happy with that. Again, pick up our um, our pack for that and uh, move on to the, what is that, the quarterfinals now. And uh, we were really progressing pretty nicely. Dede actually picks up the man of the match there. Dede and uh, my other center back was David Luiz. A really good pairing. David Luiz, he's just, a, he's like a he's like a headless chicken at times on the field. He, he'll literally end up in the striker position, and I'm just like, what the hell? are you doing up there but it has to be said we all know how good he is on FIFA and he can be uh, just amazing he's always running around he, I don't know why but that guy is just on steroids on this game but yeah at times you, you'll find he's really out of position and it can really let him down for sure but how about this for a ball in and there you go finish boom job done good night and uh, yeah, so uh, I want to talk to you guys also about me. I'm gonna be streaming some FIFA later today, and yeah, I have to I have to show appreciation for that bicycle kick or scissor kick, if you will. That was really nice. I went one one to, to for that to be an equalizer. I was uh, very impressed with that. And uh, again, he makes it two one at this point. You know, things aren't looking too good. It looks like I might be out of the World Cup, but uh, yeah, keep watching. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be streaming. I'm gonna leave my stream link down below for you guys. I'm gonna be streaming on MLG.tv slash Cal Freezy. Um, it'll be later on today. I'll leave a, a time. You guys, if you please follow me on Twitter, by the way, guys. All everything I do, pretty much in my life, is on there. I, it sounds pretty bad, but uh, yeah, everything I do, I'll be tweeting out a link, all that good shenanigans, so you guys can uh, stay tuned on there. But like I said, I will leave a light link down there. Maybe you want to open it up and you're you're back around, you know, 8 p.m. tonight. Um, you guys will see that I'm streaming. So uh, please do keep an eye out for that because it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to play in the World Cup. Going to be opening up some packs in the hunt for an RVP Ronaldo. Messi, Ribery, Robin, any of those just big boys, I want them. So I'm going to be on the hunt for those. I'm going to be opening up some packs. I'm going to be playing. I want to win the World Cup, so we're going to go ahead and do that with a few different teams. I'm going to be playing some subscribers and things as well. Uh, that should all be fun, and uh, I might even hop on the normal foot and uh, do some fun stuff on there, but we'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, maybe if I get someone good on the normal foot, because I have plenty of packs there to redeem because of the amount that I've opened on the, up on this World Cup, then I'll, I'll give a few of them away. So please do come along. It will be later on today. Uh, again, follow me on Twitter or just uh, keep an eye out on, on the webpage. Like, refresh it every hour or something like that. Do do whatever you want to do. Anyways, I go 1-1 one, one up. Sorry, well, I was 1-0 up, and then I give away my lead there, and uh, it goes 1-1. Uh, one, one. I was just kind of disappointed with that, if I'm honest with you. Um, this guy was actually a really good player he had some really interesting stuff going on and how about that how about that I was so happy to manage to get that 2-1. So it looks like we're heading on through to the final and, uh, you know, heading on through to this infamous World Cup final because, uh, you know, I, I if I'm perfectly honest with you, I am actually so, so excited for this year's World Cup. I don't think people fully understand, but they're a, a really fucking bad defensive error and it's 2-2. He's equalized in the 83rd minute. I couldn't believe it. But no worries. We will remain strong and we will we will go to the final with this South American side. Anyways, in the 85th minute, some good passing play from him. 1-2 all around. How about that? What is going on? Julio, pick that up! Oh my. I couldn't believe it. My head almost exploded. Like, why doesn't he just let it come two more inches into the box and he can pick it up with his hands like goalkeepers do? I don't understand why... 
why would he come out like that? Anyways, um, yeah, so that was it. As me knocked out in the semi-finals. Hopefully I can do better and be sure to come along to my stream. I'll leave the link down below, mlg.tv forward slash calfreezy. I'll see you guys over there. And uh, even in between there, I might be chatting to a few people. If you're just chilling in the chat, I'll be there. So I uh, hope you guys did all enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.